Hi, this is Aaron from AaronGross.com and I've had no end of problems with my Nexus 5, like many of you connecting to your PC. I did solve some problems in my part 1 and part 2 videos, but now we've got problems again with the changes in Marshmallow on the operating system on the Android phone on my Nexus 5 together, coupled with Windows 10. So I'm just going to add one little thing that I used to get me going. Spoke to Google again with no success. They, were, they tried their best, but I actually worked it out on my own in the end again. But they were kind enough to email me a troubleshooting guide or list of things to check, which I'll put on my website for you if you want to have a look. But there is something um, down here that I would like to show you. So I'm just going to adjust this. Go down to my Start menu. Right-click go on device manager and over here in the device manager hopefully I've got some sort of uh, portable machine if I can oh there it is portable devices there we go Nexus 5 so if you can find wherever that is ADB sometimes it's classified under it's not like that on here at the moment and if you right click it what I did the magic that I did that worked for me and it might work for you is right click that under device manager click on update driver software and what I did was I, I clicked on browse my computer driver software locate and install driver software manually don't go to that go to let me pick from a list device list of device drivers on my computer and then I, I take that one there and then I click next and the magic happens then I click close okay so hopefully if I just have a look down here on my machine if you um, if you would have gone through my other videos you'll know that you've got to um, scroll down from the top, you drag your finger down from the top of your machine to uh, bring up the various notifications and hopefully you see USB file for transfer. And then you choose file transfers. And I get a little message there on the bottom right hand corner, Nexus 5, tap to choose what happens. I don't touch that. I just go straight down here and voila, my Nexus 5 is alive. And if I I've got an MP3 here, for example, or a picture. So I can take this WhatsApp image here, click that. Yep, it works. My wife's perfume is showing. Yeah, and if I get rid of that. Yeah, so that's an example of what you um, can do to get it going. If you've got under here, I had it was it was a bit of an anomaly, an anomaly for me. I had several Nexus 5 portable devices. Um, MTP, FTP, I just did the same thing for each one of them that I could find in here on the device manager. It was a bit odd looking at it, but I clicked update drivers, browse, let me pick, and next, and, and away you go. I hope that helps you. If it does, please um, give us it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do as well. And I'll give you a link to my website on a list of troubleshoot instructions that might help you get past this headache that we've all had with the um, Nexus 5 Marshmallow connecting to Windows 10. Until next time, bye for now.